Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to start teaching Unity, which is a program that a lot of people are using to make computer games. And it's really powerful, but when you first look at it, it's going to be a little bit daunting because there are so many features, but hopefully through my tutorials you will fully understand how it works and you will have fun doing some of the exercises that I give you and learn from doing the exercises. So the first thing I'm going to do is get you guys to create a new project. So if you click on new, now all you're going to do is type in the name of your game and what it's going to do is it's going to create a folder with this name and it's going to put it inside this location so this folder is going to have all the files for your game inside it so make sure you remember the location where you're going to put it in uh, make sure um, you select 3d because we're going to start off by introducing you to some 3d features and just click create project and it'll take a few seconds for it to create. It's going to put all these files for your game inside that folder. Okay, now this window pops up with your game in it. Now your game has nothing in it right now except a main camera, which is the basically the viewport of what the user is going to see when they play your game and the directional light which is the lighting for your game so the first thing you want to do is we want to create an object so let's go to create 3d object plane so what you've just done is you've created a plane a floor for your game that things can walk on or land on or row on so this is like the floor now as soon as you create something you can see here on the toolbar it switched to this button okay before it was on this button and now it's on this button so what is that what's the difference well if you're on this one you can actually move up down left right in the virtual world but what's happening is you're the one that's moving the object in the game is not moving okay so it's still positioned in exactly same place but if you use this button here you can move it up down left right now now the object is moving okay not the person so you are not moving but the object in the world is moving so next thing what we're gonna do is we're going to um, learn how to rotate it so what you're gonna do is you're going to choose this button here rotate and you can rotate the plane okay rotate the plane like this by highlighting these lines around it oops so you can see here it's getting a bit hard for me to select the other line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly around so you can use the middle mouse button zoom in zoom out hold down the middle mouse button to move up down hold down the right mouse button to look up and down left and right okay so you can fly over this red line and then hopefully select the red line oops rotate it like that now if it's still hard to rotate just use the rotation value on your on the right hand side underneath the transform panel now if you feel like you've totally stuffed up you can just click this gear icon and click reset and it goes back to the beginning goes back to the beginning so what we're gonna do now is create a second object so uh, right click oh uh, sorry just go to create 3D object, um, sphere, okay so we created a little ball and what I want you guys to do now is to practice moving it around in your 3D world 
moving it around. And what I also want you to practice is using this button here to resize it. So you can see I'm resizing the shape. So you might say, why are there two windows? It's because this window here is what you see through this main camera. So you see this main camera over here. If you zoom in a bit, okay, it's shining. The pointy, it's pointing at, the camera is pointing at the object. Okay, so it's pointing this way. That's why this is what you see through this window. Okay, if you don't need to see what the, is in the camera, you can simply drag this, put it in here, and then switch back to scene view so you've got a bigger scene. And then you can just switch between the scene and the game. So if you're in this game view, you can't move anything because that means you're playing the game. Okay, and we haven't programmed it to do stuff. So yeah, all I want you guys to do is to create a few things and practice moving it around. Now there are some useful shortcuts for moving things. So what are the keys for moving things? Well, let's just practice using Google to find it. So inside Google, just type Unity Shortcuts and then you click into it. Okay, and you just search for the shortcut for panning, moving, rotating, scaling. So move is W, rotate is E, scale is R. So it's Q, W, E, R, which are four keys that are together on your keyboard, Q, W, E, R. So let's go back. So if you press Q, you're back to this button. W, you can move it. So let's not move the camera yet. But if you do want to move it, um, actually, let's we can try moving it so you can see what happens. So if you move the camera, Right, you can see the camera uh, view changes. So that's what the user is going to see when you actually play your game. But we're going to move the sphere up, down, left, uh, move the plane. E is rotating it. E is rotating it. And then R is scaling it. Scaling it. So I'm making the ball bigger and so on. Okay, so that concludes our first tutorial. What I want you guys to do is just to practice flying around, practice making objects, practice resizing them, scaling them. And if you stuff up, practice resetting. So click this gear icon underneath transform and reset it all back to the original position. Okay, hope you guys have fun. See you next time.